Welcome back to the Trinis in the Boonies YouTube channel. And thank you very much for liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much. And please continue to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Today, I'm going to make some black eyed peas and rice my way. I am not a professional cook. I just cook for myself and my family. So I just learned to cook from my mom and my grandmother and my aunt and my cousins. And this is the way I cook. So I'm going to show you the way I make black eyed peas and rice. So let's get started. These are the ingredients I'm going to use to make black eyed peas and rice. Black eye. Some pumpkin, carrots, onion, I have some shadabeni, I have some pimento, parsley, celery, I have some fresh thyme, I have some garlic, I have a maggi cube, some salt, paprika, black pepper, and I have a piece of golden ray, I have a can of coconut milk. I have some white sugar, I usually use brown, but I'm going to use some white today. And I have some scythe cut up here. And I have some rice. And oil. And I think I say ketchup. So I'm going to get started with this pot because the children are hungry. So I have the oil in the pot and I'm going to add some sugar. Trying to brown this a little bit here. And now I'm going to add some ketchup. Now I'm going to add some garlic. And now I'm going in with some onions. celery and pimento pepper and parsley and this has all nice flavor smells really good, nice and fresh, all fresh stuff in here. Garlic, onion, pimento, celery, parsley. And I will add my Maggi cube in here. Now I'm going to add some carrots. This 
is a dish my aunt Betty used to make her. She used to make this really nice. And I remember when she used to make this, she used to love to make her some nice fresh grated mango chutney to go with it on the side. <laughs> I remember whenever we would come down to Kira, she used to make this. It's really good. She was a good cup. Oh, I forget. I add some pumpkin. I just add pumpkin in it. I'm sorry. I talking about her and I forgot. I just add some pumpkin. You see, my Aunt Betty passed away, so may her soul rest in peace. Right. Sorry about And everything just cook like for a minute or two minutes. It's like the basic thing like making pillow or cook up or mixed rice. So. And we don't really put like any beef or any pigtail or anything in this. This is like basic vegetable stuff. Here. So I'm going to add black eye now. I boil black eye so it's easy to cook. Okay. So black eye add in black eye. the rice now. Charbonne here cut up. I buy this in Liberty. You can get some really Fresh stuff in Liberty Avenue, Richmond Hill, New York. Poor little Guyana. Yesterday, Terry Gadrod celebrated independence. Guyana independence. Richmond Hill, little Guyana. So you gotta visit Leopards and Liberty Avenue, see Little Guyana there. Yeah. So this has to fry up a little bit for a few minutes. Get dry before I add water. So I have some salt, black pepper, and some paprika. So I'm going to add this in now. So I'm just going to let this fry up for a few minutes while I have my water boiling. So I'm just going to rinse out some fresh sand here. So this is how I put the time in pot. Fresh time, nice flavor. And after you just, all the leaves will fall out and just take all the branches. <laughs> Shiraz don't like to see these branches, but you will take it out. Tell them this is little trees in the pot. <laughs> Yeah. 
Smells really good. So I'm going to add some water now. And I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. This smells so good. All fresh stuff. Really good. So I'm going to let this boil for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to check the pot now. This is what it looked like. It's all dry up here. See? Oh, it stick a little. Stick. All the branches to the top. <laughs> See what it looks like? But first, let me try to get rid of some of these branches. Like I said, Shiraz don't like to see them. His food. So, this fork, big it. Could use your hands to it's okay. Maybe you can leave one or two. So now I'm going to add the golden ray. So add in the golden ray here. This is what's going to give it nice flavor. And I'm going to go in with some of the side to decorate it. So try it, let me know what you think. If you like the way I make my black eyed peas and rice. Have another one right here. So you see what it looks like. This golden ray in the mouth up. Nice flavor. Let it see. Hope you can see it. Like I said, this is like almost like pilau. But we use black eye instead. 
Okay, so when you're making pilau, you put like carrots, peas, some people put sweet pepper. We put sweet pepper also. And this is what it is like. So this is simple black eyed peas and rice. So let me know, try it, all right? And comment and let me know if you make it and how it comes out. Thank you very much for watching the Trinis in the Boonies YouTube channel. And like and subscribe to our channel. Take care and all the best.